up, Internet? Current 1776 here with mission 102 of Battle Box. Yeehaw, we fixing to break into this box and see what we got inside for August 2023, which means July 2023 has passed us by, which means we just got back from Texas where we had our big mission 100 celebration down, uh, down in Uvalde, Texas at Drive Tanks. So the five golden ticket winners were there. We had a bunch of friends and family there. We had some influencers there, some uh, business partners there, some vendors there. Awesome, awesome time. We got to shoot tanks. The guys were up for $100,000 if they hit the target. If you want to see what happened, if you haven't already watched it, you can check out the video. I'll have the link in the description. I also have the link at the end of the video. Entirely too much fun. Kind of wish I was still there right now shooting tanks. Definitely going to go back. They got tons of stuff to do, and we only scratched the surface of the things that you can do at Drive Tanks. So enough about all that. Let's break into this here box. Mission 102. Yeehaw. Let's do this. Mission brief, yeehaw, comes in every mission of Battle Box. You break into it, we got a little paragraph or so from yours truly up front, and then we break into the basic advanced pro and pro plus levels in this here a booklet. So let's start off with the first item in the basic box. We've all been there, right? You're trying to stake out something, be it a tarp, be it a tent, be it any type of shelter or covering or anything like that. And you know, the stakes just don't cooperate. They're bending, they're not holding in the ground very well. You're not able to tie a proper knot and get really good tension on it because it keeps pulling the freaking stake out. Sandy, rocky, doesn't matter. So the first item in the basic box, if I can find it, are these slot locks right here. And man, these things are freaking great. So here's the packaging, fast, easy, and guaranteed. Virtually indestructible, it says here. We flip it over and you can see the stakes. We break into this thing. As you can see here on the back, it shows you how to use the stake with your, your guide line here and shows here what is perfect for anchoring for. Camping tents, hunting blinds, awning, camping, uh, canopies, outdoor sports and furniture, holiday inflatables, tarps, and more, yada, yada, yada. Here is your four stakes. 100% made in the USA, uh, very, very durable, and quite nifty, okay? So they're very strong. These aren't like your cheap stakes that are you going to get in your typical tent packages and stuff like that. They come with just a little thin freaking crappy stakes that absolutely suck. They don't hold well on the ground. They're not very long and sometimes they're a pain in the butt to tie off to. These solve a couple of issues. One, if you're not good with knots or you're not good at guying out things, these make it very, very simple to get a really good tight pull on whatever it is you're staking out and tie it off without having to tie a knot. Plus, if you feel like you got to retension it or you got to move it or whatever, you don't have to deal with knots. This thing right here, the way it's designed, you can quickly and easily readjust, move, retighten, whatever, really, really fast. It's got a lot of surface area on there to help hold to the ground. Got a nice flat area up here for striking. If you're using a mallet or anything like that, or your foot or whatever to press down, take into the ground. And then as you can see here, you got this, I'm gonna call it a barrel. You got this barrel, this tube here. Essentially what you do is you pass your line through it, and then you pull your line up into these cinch spots here and back across and you can lock that dude down very 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 securely and then if you got to readjust just reverse your process the lines already through the barrel here pull it tighter cinching in these work great in sandy conditions obviously rocks there's not a stake out there that does great in rocks you've got to find an area where you can really get it down in there but once you do, it's going to stay. So these are constructed with permalon. So it's like a, gl a glass filled thermoplastic, very, very durable, impact resistant, obviously, because you're going to be beating on these things to get them into the ground. But how many videos have we seen of canopies on the beach and stuff like that flying off when, the, when a good bit of wind comes through? Because people can't stake things down very well in sand. These do great in the sand and you can really cinch your guy line down very, very easily with these again. Made in the USA, slot lock stakes. So the second item in the basic box is something that we all enjoy in the outdoors. I know I do, okay? And it's also a staff recommended item from Curtis Nemechek, Kuju Coffee. Curtis loves his coffee. He's pretty good at like selecting really good coffee. And this is really good coffee. Not only is it really good coffee, but it is also very convenient, okay? Sometimes 
dealing with coffee when you're out in the wild or whatever. Sometimes it'll be a chore. The ones that aren't, like the instant coffees and stuff like that, well, I mean, <laughs> let's face it, guys, they're just not that freaking delicious, okay? They're just not that good. This is some premium coffee that also adds convenience when you're out and about, and that's hiking, that's camping, throw some in bug out bags and stuff like that. I mean, it's a morale booster as well, right? Medium roast, they call it the base camp blend. It's really good. Oak, chocolate, and honey notes to it. So this has all been created by two brothers. They're also Eagle Scouts, and it's very simple. You got plenty of them in here. There's, uh, how many in here? There's six in here, all right? So six individual packets that you can split up amongst your friends and things like that. Show you just how cool this thing is. Here you've got this little perforated bag right here, which is also your filter, et cetera, et cetera. So you got these wings here. These wings come out. These are gonna sit over the lip of your cup. You got your top here, you tear that open. And then when you set this over your cup, as you can see, there's your coffee grinds. God, it smells so freaking good. Put that over, pour your hot water inside over your coffee grinds. Obviously, it drips out through the bottom. You got yourself a great cup of coffee. And this is all you gotta deal with. Little packet in this right here. Quick, convenient, easy way to have good coffee in camp without a bunch of bull crap. So that is your second item in the basic box from the Eagle Scout Brothers QG Coffee. So the third item in the basic box is something that I've been testing for quite a while and I freaking love it. There's a multitude of designs out there when it comes to headlamps. Most of them have the same issue. Most of them are a little too heavy, a little bulky. The battery life, eh, it's kind of all over the map and the straps just aren't stellar, right? Especially in a situation where you're moving uh, swiftly, be that rucking, running, jogging, trying to get away from something in the dark, uh, things like that, and uh, they're just cumbersome. Sometimes like after a while, like, man, I gotta get this thing off my head, it's bothering me, I need to take a break from this headlamp. This dude right here is freaking awesome. So this is the Gumby lamp from Panther Vision. Let's take a look at it down here. So here it says Gum Gumby lamp, LED headlamp, anti-slip, anti-bounce, silicone headband, small, lightweight, powerful, USB chargeable, three lighting modes, okay? You can see here's the silicone band, it's rechargeable. Simple, no BS headlamp that you literally will forget you have on your head at times. I've got the one that I have been using for testing. As you can tell, it's blue. You may get a blue one an olive one, a red one, or a black one. Here's your light. It does come out of the band very easily. Pops out like so. Here is your charging port here on the back, and it does come with the USB charging cable. You can clean this thing if need be. Pop it back in like so. As you can see here, it's got a bit of an angle to it, which is great. It's not just shooting out straight in front of you. And when you look down, like you're kind of, some lights are like that. Like some lights have adjustability, but some of them, they're, they're more straight on. And it's, it's kind of weird when you're looking at stuff. The light, the light naturally comes at an angle, which is really cool about this one. My favorite things about it is it's super light. You can forget you even have it on when it's turned off. It does not freaking move, bounce around or anything when it's on your head. It doesn't do it because this silicone here just keeps it put, which is excellent for the situation for me. I've been rucking at night so that I, it's freaking hot during the day. I'm sweating now standing here talking to the camera. In the evenings, I'll go do, you know, do some rucking and I'm using this light. Does not freaking move, okay? Very comfortable as you can see here on the, uh, the part that's up against your forehead. It's got some ridges here. They're soft, comfortable. Of course, the band is adjustable, but you put that dude on, and if you're sweating profusely, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. If you're jogging, you're bouncing up and down, it doesn't move. There's no weight up there moving it. Three modes, you got your high, medium, low, I believe it's 70, 35, and 15 lumens. Simple operation, no extra buttons, none of that crap. It's not like, squeezing your freaking head. It's on there just enough, silicone doing its job, it's gonna stay put. Works on your forehead, works on your cap, whatever, doesn't matter. Wherever you put it, it stays there. 
You can strap it to your leg. You can strap it to your arm. You can strap it around your neck. You can strap it to your freaking beard. Not that you'd want to strap it to your beard, but you know what I'm saying. You can strap it to pretty much anything. You can't do that with, you can't do that with most headlamps. The adjustability is freaking stupid. It's quick and easy. You don't have extra straps that you got to freaking tighten up and do all kind of weird stuff with. It's an absolutely awesome lamp. To furthermore push the point of forgetting that you even have it on, so I don't have very good lighting in here at night. I got one light. I didn't want to set these up to see inside my truck. I was cleaning out the inside of my truck, vacuuming out my truck. It's dark in there. Couldn't see. I was like, ah, I'll use my Gumby lamp. So I put this on, worked on the inside of my truck, got it cleaned up, turned the light off, ended up sitting at the computer doing a little bit of work, ended up going inside sat down, watched a little bit of TV, and until I went to my bathroom to get ready to go to bed, looked in the mirror and noticed I had this freaking lamp still on my head. That's how comfortable, that's how unnoticeable it freaking is. You may get blue, you may get olive, you may get red, and you may get a black one. The final item in the basic box is from Gear Aid. Another really cool item, also kind of cool EDC item for a lot of people, is the Niglo from gear aid. What is this? Let's take a closer look at it. So you can see here it's got a key ring and it's kind of like this little fob here. You can charge this through sunlight or take your Gumby light or anything like that, flashlight, and you can charge this thing up. To fully, fully charge this rascal to where it will last a really long time, it takes about 10 minutes, but honestly, having it out in the sun does, does an amazing job. Glows in the dark, you can put this on your keys. I like to use these in camp for like a zipper pull on my hammock or my tent. Waking up in the middle of the night, locating your zipper pull while you're inside your tent or your hammock. Hang this on dog collars. You can hang this on areas of guy lines just so that, you know, it keep keeps you cognizant of where your guy lines are at night. Fix it to the tip of a fishing rod or something like that while you're night fishing, not have any lights on that freaking mosquitoes and bugs and gnats, stupid craps flying around and bothering the crap out of you. And you can see your rod moving if you get in a bite or whatever. So really cool item here from Gear Aid. So of course it includes the key ring, the clip and a joint right here. So if you got multiple of these, you can join them together. Waterproof, dust proof, yada, 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 completely sealed off works very well. You may get one of five colors of these. The green, orange, yellow, a clear, and a blue. Yeehaw. That is your basic box. Now it's time to jump in to the advanced box. So in the advanced box, got a knife. Yeehaw. It's called the Battle Box Onyx. This thing's really cool. Right there. Easy box. Versatile blade. Pretty much any situation. Fishing, hunting, bushcraft, check that dude out. Full tang, over molded handle, very comfortable in the hand and sharp as freaking crap. I have been cutting myself a lot here recently. Last video, you saw me dang near cut my thumb off. About a week ago in Texas, I cut my leg real bad down here. Um, thank you, my medic, for the zips because I'm too stubborn to go to the hospital and get stitches. It's just, just the way I, way I roll. So what we have here is an overall length of nine inches. We got eight CR14 MOV stainless steel. The blade comes in at about four and a half inches. Stone wash finish, injection mo uh, over molded handle for secure grip. Got you a lanyard here that you can use or cut off if you want to put your own lanyard on here. It does have a 90 degree spine on it. Would be excellent in wet environments for sure with this rubber grip right here. Excellent little survival knife. I love fixed blades, obviously. So the sheath here is really nice. You got a clip here on the side. Locks in, lock up is really good. What I really like about it, furthermore, it being in a wet environment, you can see here, it's got a hole in the bottom to help with drainage. And you can also, in a pinch, you can use this to help fashion a water filter for you as well. You can put some sand, some charcoal, stuff like that down on the inside pour your water through here, let it drip out the bottom of the sheath or into a container if you're not gonna put directly into your mouth or into a container if you wanna boil it after you use this to filter out any he heavier particles. So a great fixed blade knife for pretty much any outdoor situation, a great backup knife to your primary, and uh, you know, two is one, one is none, Onyx EO. So the rain's getting louder, but now it's time for the Pro Box. This is a member recommended item from Tulio B from Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you, Tulio. Years ago, I can't remember the mission. This was back when we had theme boxes. We had like a um, winter uh, car survival kit or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. 
I want to say it was in the first year of Battle Box, we sent a tow rope in Battle Box, your typical yellow, like three and a half inch wide tow rope that most of us have if you have vehicles and stuff like that where you keep a tow rope in your vehicle. If you don't, you should, and if you're an advanced and up subscriber, you're, you're gonna have one now. Stay, don't move. So in this bag right here from Rhino USA, we got a kinetic recovery strap. These things are freaking awesome, absolutely awesome. So if you've ever pulled somebody out of mud or sand or out of a ditch or whatever, and you used a kinetic rope before, you, you understand what I'm, what I'm telling you. They're freaking great. Let's face it, if it hasn't happened to you, it probably will at some point, or you're gonna run across somebody that it has happened to, and now you're gonna have the ability to help them out. Cause you can just keep this in your vehicle, keep it in your trunk, whatever. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You got a nice pack to keep it in. And here we have your kinetic rope. I'm not gonna spread the whole thing out cause I can't on camera, but it's 20 foot long. You got your loops on the end, which are threaded in all the way to right there. So this loop comes back and goes back inside of itself. Kind of like a uh, Chinese finger trap, if you will. So the tighter this thing gets pulled, the, the harder it, it holds here. And then they've got it shrink wrapped here at the joint. Um, so a lot of climbing ropes, a lot of a lot of stuff out there use this method to where they thread the loop back into itself. It makes a way stronger bond. Sleeves here in your loops to protect from wherever you're hooking it to. I do recommend you use some sort of shackle or something like that. Rhino USA sells uh, soft shackles so that you can shackle it to a vehicle versus putting this directly on the hitch or the ball of a vehicle if it's a truck or if it's an SUV that has a tow hitch. Don't do that. Those receivers for, for towing are meant for just that. They're meant for, for towing a load. They're not meant to pull um, something that's stuck, okay? So there's many people, there, I'm sure some that's been killed, but many that have been in, injured and their vehicles freaking completely destroyed when they hook a tow rope of any sort uh, to a receiver ball or a hitch of a vehicle and then the pin breaks, now that hitch receiver becomes a projectile. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna go through your windshield, through your face, or through your grill, or something of your vehicle. Do not, do not pull from there, okay? Always use some sort of shackle or hook to, you know, if a vehicle has tow hooks or anything like that, put that in there. So this is a three quarter inch kinetic rope. The working load limit is 6,655 pounds, so just over three tons and the minimum brake strength is 19,965 pounds. So a very capable tow strap uh, for you to have a, in your recovery kit or your vehicle. So in understanding a kinetic rope versus a typical tow strap, kinetic ropes, they have some stretch to them. Under, under load, you know, when you get that thing to max stretch, there's four times more energy stored in this rope at full stretch than with a typical tow strap. So once that vehicle that you're trying to pull out moves, starts to move, it releases that four times more energy, kind of like a bungee, like a bungee cord, to really give that vehicle some oomph to get out. So it takes way less stress on the towing vehicle to get the, get the stuck vehicle out. It's actually amazing. It, it's, it's a night and day difference. If you've ever pulled people out with a typical tow rope, a typical like four inch wide belt type rope um, or strap, and then you use a kinetic rope, night and day difference. It's, it's amazing how much better it is when you've got that little bit of stretch and that energy stored in that it suddenly releases once the vehicle starts moving. Literally the vehicles just pop out. It, it's, it's pretty freaking cool. It's gonna happen at some point. Sand during the winter, you get off into the ditch because the road's icy or whatever. I don't care if you're in a car, I don't care if you're in a freaking super duty truck. You need to have a recovery strap with you and a kinetic one is gonna be your best choice. They take up less space. Rhino supplies you with this nice case. So if this thing gets dirty or nasty, you don't have to throw a nasty strap back into your truck. You put it back into the bag, throw the bag in your truck. They're freaking awesome. 
They're freaking awesome. And back when we did the towing strap years ago, people freaking loved it. So I'm excited to have this new and improved version. Yeehaw. So that's your Pro Box item from Rhino USA. So now it's time for the Pro Plus box, the knife of the month, the meat and potatoes. So this month we've got a really cool folder with a really cool story behind it. So the designer of this knife, I'll try to, I'll try to get the story right, and I might have to read it uh, and, and put it over on this because, of course, I'm, I'm not going to get it correct word for word, just verbatim out of my head. Um, it's in the booklet, so if you get the box and you want to read the story about how this was designed, if I mess it up, the correct story. <laughs> It's in the booklet. But here we have the ATAC Ghost. Check it out. The ATAC Ghost. Could be your next favorite EDC knife right here. All right, so the ATAC Ghost is a Sandvik 12C27 stainless steel. Blade length is three and a quarter inches. Overall length, seven and a half inches. The weight is 4.8 ounces. Aluminum and carbon fiber handle. It has a retractable seatbelt cutter here and it is designed by Adam Segmiller. So the majority of the time that Adam was deployed, he was a plain clothes guy out there, right? So he worked security details and stuff like that for high level officials. A lot of places that he went when he would go into certain um, establishments, if you will, weapons were prohibited. But because of his detail, like he wanted to have something with him in case he needed it, right? So. Um, often he would try to get through with folders. So he tried a multitude of different types of folders um, as an everyday carry while being deployed doing detail work. None of them he really fell in love with. There was, there was some things about them that he liked, a lot of things that he didn't. So he designed his own knife, which is where the ghost came from. So he wanted a blade that was comfortable to have on him, but also in the case that he needed it for a fighting situation or something like that, he would have something, or an escape situation, something that he could easily cut out of a belt or break glass and things like that with. So he designed this and he gave it to several of his friends that were also deployed and, and in different types of, of scenarios, they all loved it. The way the name Ghost came along with it was he was kind of getting feedback from some of the guys that he was letting test the knife. And uh, one of the guys said that he often forgot he even had it on him. It was like he had a ghost with him or whatever. So that's where uh, the ghost name came from. So what's really cool about it is, is the glass breaker here is up towards the front. So you got your glass breaker here. A lot of knives, they have them towards the back where this one here is up towards the front at the pivot. Obviously it has your flipper there. It does have a serrated blade. We all know the pros of a serrated blade. It works really good for cutting cord strapping and things like that. It is a liner lock. So you got your liner lock here. There is your clip. Here's your carbon fiber end piece right here. And then here on the back, whether the knife is deployed or not, you have access to a strap cutter or seat belt cutter. So you can quickly and easily cut through strapping or anything like that. And um, it doesn't take up any space at all on the knife. Fits good in the hand and it's very interesting and unique and has a really cool story behind it. Again, the story is in the booklet. That is your Pro Plus knife for Mission 102, yeehaw. So that's Mission 102 of Battle Box for August 2023, folks. Really nice box this month. It's got a lot of stuff in here to kind of hit a bunch of different areas of outdoor adventure, camping, prepping, survivability, self-reliance, etc., etc., and camp comfort, morale boosting with the coffee here. Quick recap. We got the slot lock steaks right here. You get four steaks. That will be the best steak you've ever used in your life when it comes to uh, pretty much any kind of terrain. Very easy to lock down, very sturdy when in the ground, and quick and easy access to retighten or readjust your guy lines. We've got the Niglo fobs right here. Put it on your keys, put it on zipper pulls, put it on your dog, put it on your fishing pole, whatever. Glows for a long time and is infinitely usable. You just need the sun to charge it or a flashlight or anything like that, some sort of light source. She's ready to rock and roll for many, many hours. Then we've got the Gumby lamp from Panther Vision right here. Of all the headlamps I've used, I really believe this, this is my favorite right now. I like how light it is. I like that it does not move. I like that even when I'm sweating or if I'm running or anything like that, it's there. 
and it ain't going anywhere. I really like that. No weight up front, no bouncing. It's a great, great headlamp right here. I think you guys will really enjoy it. You want to get one of four colors, obviously, uh, and with the Niglos, one of five colors. Then we got the pour over coffee from Kuju Coffee, designed by two brothers who are Eagle Scouts who enjoy coffee. They have developed kind of the perfect way to have premium coffee out in the wild without all the BS. Then we've got the Battle Box Onyx knife right here. Very versatile knife for pretty much any situation. Really good sheath, sharp blade, 90 degree spine, over molded handle. Excellent for wet conditions due to the, uh, the rubber over molded handle right there. You can even use the sheath as a way to filter water. And then over here, if you need to get out of a sticky situation, you got your Rhino USA 20 foot kinetic recovery rope right here. Kinetic ropes are freaking awesome. Everybody should have this in their vehicle. I don't care even if it is a car, because like I said earlier, somebody could stop to help you out with the truck and they don't even have a recovery strap with them. That way you'll have one. This is a really high quality rope right here. Rhino USA makes great recovery gear. They think of everything, even including a really nice case for it. If you've never pulled out anybody or been pulled out with a kinetic rope before, you're gonna be amazed when you actually use it. And then last but not least, we've got the ATAC Ghost, designed with a purpose by a guy who was in situations where he felt he needed to make his own. And I think he did a really good job with this ATAC Ghost right here. Got the features that he felt were important and have implemented them in the way that he felt best fit his needs and I think he did a really, really good job. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you'd like to find out more about BattleBox, you can go to BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can go to the What's in the Box page. There on the website, you can see everything from Mission 102 all the way down to Mission 1. If you have any questions, you can check out the Frequently Asked Questions section. If it's not in there, then hit us up at questions at battlebox.com. If you are currently a subscriber and you're on Facebook, I know some of you aren't, I get it, but if you are, we have a Facebook members only group. You can join that if you are a current subscriber. Lots of really cool people in there, trade and sell stuff, they get together. There's discussions, survival discussions, camping discussions, the whole nine yards, great group of people. And of course, we're adding member recommended items in here, and that is a place where members can voice their opinions on items that they would like to see in the box. Thanks again to, what was his name? Tulio B from Memphis, Tennessee. His thought was a recovery strap. So there you go, boom, recovery strap in the box. So you guys can thank Tulio. Curtis Nemechek, staff member, for the coffee right there. I love you, I mean it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to find out what went down in Texas for the tank shoot, I will have a link down below to that video and we'll put it on the end card so you can click directly on that video. You can check out the tank shoot. And uh, we're gonna be doing more stuff like the tank shoot coming up soon. So y'all be on the lookout for that sort of thing. And uh, I'll see you next time with mission 103 of Battlebox. Yeehaw.